Hey everyone, it's February, we're in the garage. Uh, this is completely something different. I had no project that you know about if you follow me or anything. We're gonna use a, I thought it was called a blind bearing puller, but it's just like for pulling bearings that don't have a backside that you can pound out. We got this bearing puller, I borrowed it from work, and I'm gonna pull the, um, I'm working on the jack shaft of this little Polaris 50. We're gonna pull the bearing out of it. I got the other ones out by pounding them, but this one is like in a dead end. So I'm gonna show you about this today. Okay, so as you can see, I already have some bearings. I have this whole clutch assembly and jack shaft apart. Well, I don't know if that's what it's called, but it is a jack shaft. You got a clutch to a belt and this clutch rides here and it goes over to a chain drive. So that's kind of like a jack shaft. What we need to do is find the right size of these that'll fit. And th this is the bearing I'm concerned with. It, as you can see, it's uh, wiped out. This one may be two, but this is an expensive bearing, so it's good enough. Uh, I'm thinking this 12 will fit in here. So, I know I'm casting a weird shadow right now. But what I want to do is crank this in. So I'm behind the, look at that, that's perfect. I'm behind the bearing. And this is, I can't pull it out now because I cranked this tight here. So now let me get the slide hammer for this. Hopefully we'll be able, let's see here. Thread this in. And again, this is the bearing I want to get out. I already have, this is for the counter shaft. This is another one of the transmission bearings and I have some seals I'm gonna get replaced. I'm actually gonna to try to go to a local bearing shop to get these replaced rather than buy the Polaris part because they want Buku money for what is essentially just a standard bearing. So now I have a slide hammer here. Let's see how this works. Okay, not quite yet. Get this bearing. I'm gonna hold the tire here and Here it comes, the bearing's coming out. And just like that, see how this works is it expands on the, you put it through the bearing and it expands. And I'm able to grab the backside and it's, oh man, these transmission drives stink so bad. But I was able to grab the backside of that bearing and I use this slide tool here, but that pulls your bearings out. Some guys use these for wheel bearings. I mean, they have a lot of uses, uh, engine cases and things. But that's really what I had to borrow this tool for. I don't own this tool, but I need to get this bearing out because it is bad. Okay, so thanks for watching. Again, I always called it a blind bearing puller. I've actually used this same tool to pull, like I had a KX250 and the clutch pivot, like down on the engine, is a dead end bearing. So I assume, you correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I assume they're called a blind bearing puller because you can't pound the bearing out from the other side. So thanks for watching. We use these at work a lot. It's just nice so you don't have an engine just sitting flat on your work surface. And so I have it on here so I can kind of keep it up this way and I can work on it.